Chris, that was absolutely extraordinary. Have you spoiled the party in a way you could never really have dreamt of, particularly at half-time? Yeah, I think uh, coming in at half-time, I think there was a lot of us feeling sorry for ourselves and um, we needed to make sure that we played with pride in that second half and, and, we, and we certainly deserved it that second half performance. If anything, could you have been dead and buried by half-time? Yeah, I think the first half was, was, was terrible and... Um, Apart from the first 15 minutes where it was, there was nothing in it and then we, we, we just dropped off and we didn't play our game and um, no, we, could have, we could have been out of sight. What did the manager say at half-time? Um, I think he, he didn't have to say too much because deep down we know as players that that wasn't good enough and um, now he sort of emphasised that we don't want to be the clowns who, who are sort of standing there watching them get their trophy and um, with that second half performance those, those fans deserved it. Was it pride and character, do you think, that got you out of a hole today? Yeah, it was. I think you saw you saw a stand-up uh, coming 2-0 at a City where they've obviously been fantastic all season. We, we stepped up and, and we won the game. What about for you personally? You've had some horrible moments in derbies, not great on the Vincent Company today yeah. on his goal, and then you score a winner like that. Yeah, I think when you make a mistake like that, you, you want an opportunity to make amends, and um, luckily it came today. What a finish as well. I was worthy of any of your forwards. Yeah, no, I was just thankful and I think you could see the relief in my face, obviously, after the first goal and um, no, it's great to, to contribute. And a word for Paul Pogba as well. He's had an awful lot said and written about him in the last few weeks overnight as well. Yeah, I think you never see him You never see him hide and I think today you saw 11 players stand up when it was easy to crumble at 2-0 and, and, and the result looking like 90% of the time it was, it was going to be their win, but we stood up. You also lay down a mark for next season as well with that performance today. Yeah, I think we have. Um, I think uh, this season was about finishing second and, and, and making sure that, that we cement that position because that's what we've, we've done this year and next year we'll kick on. Well done, Chris. Thank you.